friends, it's Jessica from Three Rivers Homestead and it's another beautiful morning here on the homestead. We've got some fun things planned today, but first I need to tackle my morning chores, which usually consists of once I get breakfast kind of cleaned up and, and put away and the dishes going in the dishwasher, then I try to get a few loads of laundry done and the house straightened up, make sure all the kids are ready for the day and then we can move on with whatever we have planned. And I think today we're going to preserve some sweet corn and the kids are going to finish up an art project they've been working on and then we'll just see whatever else happens as the day unfolds so why don't you come along with us hanging laundry is definitely one of my favorite chores in fact I um I love it so much that we got rid of our electric electric dryer I think two years ago and I only hang my laundry now and then in the winter when it is too um, cold or snowy to hang it outside we hang it inside on racks by the wood stove and I just really enjoy it there's something about hanging it it's peaceful it's sort of my time to talk with God in the mornings and just get kind of centered for my day and when I had the baby and I had to rely on the boys to hang the laundry for me, I kind of missed it. I really enjoy coming out here and doing it. So I've got my second load of laundry hung now and we can get on with our day. <laughs> finished um, shucking all of that corn. That was three bushel bags from a local farm and we don't currently have the space to grow all of the sweet corn that we would need for the whole year and honestly I have terrible results growing corn here on our property. Every time I plant seed the mice or some kind of rodent eats all like half of the seed and then whatever does grow the last two years um, have been flooded out with rains in the spring so it's just I don't know. I uh, Thankfully, I have a local farm that sells some amazing sweet corn for a great price. So that's what we've been purchasing and canning. I've got a uh, little lunch salad I just harvested from the garden. Uh, we got some lettuce, some cucumbers. I've got some carrots from a harvest a couple days ago inside and uh, some little tomatoes. And we'll make a little salad out of that for lunch. And then I also got some basil for tonight's uh, pizza we're going to have for dinner. So. I have three bushel bags of corn in there that I'm going to go in and get started preserving. It's going to be a hot day in the kitchen. Okay, so I have quite a long day ahead of me. Got all this corn, and what I'm gonna do with a lot of it is, I use this little decobber tool from Pampered Chef, I believe, and I take it off the cob, and then I'll just fill my jars with the corn kernels, and then, um, then I fill with water, and then we pressure can it. So I'll show you that process, but um, while I'm working on that, I've got some kids out here working on some art projects. Let me see. Look at that. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to make my name on it. You're going to make your name? Yeah. So what do you have here, Grace? Let me a see. Pot. A 
pot. It's beautiful. Looks like the boys have some little action figures that they're working on. Make sure to make the cat too. That was a little Very fun. So if you work hard, like at shucking all that corn, then you get to play hard and do fun things, right guys? I like to play easy. You like yeah. to play easy and not yeah. play hard? <laughs> so work hard, play easy? Is that how the saying goes? Sounds like a plan. Or I'm going to go work hard on some corn, all right? And then play easy. And then I'll play easy later. Play Candy Crush? Probably play Candy Crush, you're right. In case you ever wondered, it takes about 40 ears of sweet corn down there to fill one seven quart batch of corn and that'll last us seven meals so that's not bad. Um, and then what I'm going to do with these jars is I'm going to fill them now with water to the top and then I'll take a butter knife and kind of swirl it around to get all the air bubbles out and then we can add our lids and get these in the pressure canner. To can corn safely, you have to use a pressure canner since it is a low acid food. Um, but if you don't have a pressure canner and wanted to water bath your um, sweet corn, there is an option. Um, I make a sweet corn relish every year. I'm not doing it this year because I did so much last year, I have tons left over. But it's sort of like a, a pickled sweet corn. It has a sweet vinegar taste and it's really good. Um, so that's an option if you only have a water bath canner but you wanted to preserve some sweet corn this year. Look at the bowl canning recipe for corn relish and it's amazing. Uh, this corn, um, since there is no vinegar base in it, it's just the corn and water. This is going to go in a pressure canner to be processed safely. So first batch is in the canner and that's heating up. I'm going to work on filling a second batch of jars here. And I've got the big kids still out here painting their projects. Notice how dirty my windows are. It's thanks to these two little guys. And they want to be out there painting right now too, but um, I can't keep a full eye on them around the paint, so they are stuck inside playing. The first batch of corn is in the canner processing. I've got a second batch ready to go, and then I ended up putting my third batch into freezer bags. I don't prefer the texture of the frozen corn over the canned, but it is convenient just to toss it in the freezer, and that'll be good for soups and things. And then I have these corn cobs here. In the past, I've made um, corn cob jelly out of them, and I could do that, but I'm feeling a little unmotivated right now. So those will probably be fed to the chickens. What's funny is while I was working, the baby slept the whole time, but also we have a little guy here, a little four-year-old who fell asleep. It looks like he got tired um, waiting for me to get done. So I'm going to move him somewhere comfortable and get some lunch started. And, uh, oh, there he is. Are you waking up, buddy? You fell asleep on the stairs. <laughs> and the big kids finished up their painting projects right as I finished canning. So it looks like everyone's ready for lunch. You guys getting hungry? Yeah, I'm working up a big appetite. Working up an appetite? I still want to paint. You're going to paint a little longer? Yeah. yeah. Alright. I'm going to paint the whole place. Ooh. You can't even paint it on those sides. I'm going to paint me and everyone. <laughs> The great thing about having animals is that nothing gets wasted. So they'll eat anything that can't go in the compost. We rarely um, ever have to throw any kind of food in the trash, which is wonderful.
the little boys were so patient while the big kids got to uh, paint and while I was busy canning that they're having a little fun outside with the hose getting sprayed by that by the big kids. Um, it's been another really great day. We got food put up on the pantry shelves, which is wonderful. The kids got to do an art project and hopefully we made some great memories. So there is Rosie back there. <laughs> Well, I hope your day is blessed, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.